Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to another one of my soap making video. This is Helen from Moonlit Soap Work. Um, been a couple of weeks since I make a soap making video and uh, today we are a little bit ahead of the game, not really, but um, kind of like my that's finally catching up to the normal pace of other soap maker when we're in October and we need to be making our Christmas soap. Uh, this is a batch of custom order, so uh, this is the second half of the batch I already have a, a couple of loaves already done and uh, this one gonna have a little bit more a little bit of improvement on a couple of things that I didn't like before and and uh, a little bit of adjustment but um, it is a quite a complicated batch of soap it's gonna be a peppermint soap um, I think I'm probably gonna call it like frosted peppermint because um, the fragrance I'm using is actually um, neutral soaps um, they're Dr. Peppermint type this one a little bit go a long way so uh, I'm trying to uh, cut it down just a little bit because the client really just want it lightly scented and um, and it's it's like I'm putting in like close to only half of what I normally would have put in and still have a nice peppermint sense and I uh, make up the rest of the little bit the fragrance with a little bit of Snow Witch this is one of my all-time favorite um, Christmas since um, Snow Witch is kind of like frosty and fresh and kind of Christmassy, I have a magical thing about it, if you know what I mean. Anyhow, so the Snow Witch is mixed into the fragrant right here and then um, I, the soap will have a white pipe top and the white pipe top will have a little bit more of the Snow Witch in it so to kind of bring up that frosty feeling. Um, the white frosty and then on top of the little frosty um, frosting um, we will have these little gold star and I make these out of milk milk and pour because um, it's really hard to get gold to come through with this matter of almost I mean I have not yet found a gold micas that will not turn pale white in uh, in cold process so you really want that gold there's other alternative that you could do for your soul like to kind of you know make up for that so otherwise it would just be kind of like a white star and you know we we want gold star so these are gold and um, it's a little bit more on the yellow on this side and that this side definitely is a pretty pretty uh, gold this is the um, this one, those of you who've seen my video before know I'm obsessed with the gold dust glitter from Nisho. So this is the gold dust glitter inside mixed in with gold micas. So, and um, because the glitter is a little heavier when you pour it in to a, let's say, a sheet, uh, silicone, pans or some sort, and, uh, and I let it sit overnight so I could come back with a cookie cutter and cut them out in the star shape um, the the glitter kind of like all fall to the bottom so one size is a little heavier so this will be the fun so that will be I have a, a whole bunch of these here so that's where it's going and then the soap itself since it is a peppermint and the um, the request is a red and white soap so I have this bright beautiful wear that I'm trying out. Um, I used the candy apple wear by itself. Um, my last two loaves for the same client and the wear came out pretty nice. I would like it to be just a touch darker so I'm mixing in the really wet micas uh, which I guess these two are very similar tone but when they mix together because one of them have a little more yellow tone to it the other one have a more magenta tone to it and they when they come together the colors is actually really beautiful so um we'll see how this comes through so um and obviously red is one of the another extremely hard color to achieve in cold process soap so this batch have gold and red so <laughs> it's a bit of a challenge so and then uh so in between white and red as like peppermint candy kind of color and we also want just a touch of gold swirl in it and once again you cannot 
have a hard time doing dough in cold process straight up so we're gonna pour in just a little bit of that milk and pour uh, in gold so here's some of my milk and pour that I already milked down and I mix in the gold color on it so this will be mixed in um, when I'm pouring it and I'm pretty much is just doing a straight pour and maybe with a little bit of spoon swirl um, that's what I did last time and it came out quite pretty and the clients are really pleased with how it look um, she had yet to receive her soap but I sent her picture and I'm done so that's that and then uh, obviously a lot of titanium dioxide because we need the frost thing to be white so this is extremely important and then other than that this is recipe itself is just my pretty straightforward um, this is my um, grape seed sunflower basic recipe, super fat with a little bit of shea butter. And then the uh, light solutions with a giant spoon of salt in it for some hardness. And that will be it. And as far as this gold color that I'm mixing up over here, it's a big combination of every gold color you can see over here. I have the King, King's Gold Micas here. I had the Sparkle Gold Micas from BB. I had the Gold Dust. I have the Sunshine Yellow. And, and then when they get a little too dark, I put a little bit of Leon Yellow in there just to bring up the brightness a little bit. So this one have this gold color is like every time I mix this gold is totally a different ball game so um, hopefully the, the color will stay and what I would do is I will pipe once I, have, once I pour everything in I'll pipe the top and then I will come back with a last time I keep it with a little bit of a paintbrush to brush on uh, some more gold and red on top so that it kind of bring the color down and um, we'll see if I need it this time but other than that, I'm not really changing up the recipe too, too much. Just hopefully, hopefully just a more refined process on such a complicated, um, complicated process and recipe. Um, and this is going to be my first Christmas soap and my first Christmas custom order, actually. And then, and then hopefully I'll move on to the rest of the holiday and more Christmas soap coming up for sure. So let's make some soap.
you have it. This is kind of the base of the um, the peppermint, the frosted peppermint soap that I'm working on. Uh, this is a little bit of Nucho's uh, brush, uh, Rush Micas. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little bit on top. I love, 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 love this little pump. Isn't it awesome? And I got this from Nucho Soap, and I think a couple of other. Um, Places also sell them like I think um, Matte Oil or, or BB also sell them. I've seen them on their website also, but this 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 is so awesome. <laughs> Less waste on all your um, glitter and my and micas in case you want to like you know spray it a little bit. And then I also have this one that I mix in. This is one of the um, clear uh, glitter I get from um, wholesale and wholesale, so, uh, wholesale soap supplies and then, no wholesale supply plus sorry, wholesale WSP and then um, I mix it in half with the gold dust from neutral and kind of give me this kind of like um, in between the bright gold so I have a little silvery shine to it. It's kind of interesting mix so I've been kind of loving that combination also so just a little bit of glitter not too much there's no such thing as too much glitter <laughs> and then um, then this is basically the base and then we're gonna prepare the piping uh, bed for it and all the way around my items um, so I'm using a um, open star tip just because my last batch I do the open star tip so I didn't want to I didn't want to confuse myself with like two different look going on. And then I am gonna just cut a little bit off this tip. Probably need a little more. I need to cut enough. Cut a little bit off that tip. And I used to do coupling on my on my um, soap on my tip, but then um, then I kind of find out that I was never using my coupling correctly because the whole point of having a coupling is that you could switch out your tip and all at all costs. But I kind of like stuck everything inside the bed, so you really can't do anything to it anyway. So what I um, I actually learned this from somebody else on YouTube. I think is is Holly from Missouri with a soap that she show people how she secure her little tips. She just basically take a little piece of sketch tape and tape a little bit of the top, I mean where the not going into the cut of course um, and, and the piping bed and kind of hold it together. So just have to make sure you peel it off later when you when it's time for uh, it for you to wash the tip. Otherwise it will be a little messy. So that's that. Let's put this aside. And then uh, I normally do is I have this um I kind of twist it and I stuck it in there. And I have this this tall cup I pretty much like reserve <laughs> for for doing um typing. I'm not a piping master or anything so every little tool that can help me do stuff I will and I'm pretty sure I learned all these tricks from one of the, all, the, all the other awesome YouTube people out there they are like so much you can learn from everybody else I just I had never even baked cupcake before I stopped doing cupcake so it's kind of funny so here you go and then um, earlier I mixed quite a lot of the gold color and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a brush okay. I'm going to grab a brush and I'm going to paint the edge of, of um, this piping bed so that when the white come out it's going to have just a touch of um, gold edge on some of the area it worked out pretty good for me last time, so I'm doing it again. Hopefully, it will work out. Okay. 
because I, I'm not really that good with this so I'm sure there's tons of video you could watch from other people that we really know what they're doing because I really don't okay let's put in enough I just want to make sure there's enough for both batches so we have a little bit of gold and then there's still some gold left so what I'm doing is later on when it gets firm up a bit I will go come back maybe like tomorrow or something and I will um I will basically brush it on the soap and I'm hoping there is enough fasting for this but I have known to miscalculate a lot before so if not then I had to just do another batch of fasting obviously Or maybe do another, do a new batch of soap and then do another um, Snow Witch Foss thing on top on the other batch of soap too and then have enough to share between the two. But if I could at least have enough to pipe one of these batch, I'll be good. Because other, after that, pipe fasting is not that big of a deal. Just, it's just more a hassle to clean all your stuff and and get everything ready again for another batch of soap since I'm not really a high production type of um, soap maker so I don't really um, I don't have a system set up when they when I make a bunch of soap back to back I actually normally just make this is how big on my loaf is this is about like 80 ounce of um, oil you know, and then I'll have like 20, 20, 20, 30, 20 to 30 ounces of light water solution. And then we go into these two uh, essential oil, essential depot uh, molds. So they're, you know, about like three pounds each. So it's two and a half to three pounds, so five to six pounds of soap in total that will uh, yield. I, and I was able to get about maybe, um, 11 bar soap from each batch so so here's what it looks like and um it's actually not quite ready to be pipe to pipe yet and i didn't want to go too early on it so i had to take a break and then i'll come back to check on it and hopefully i will be able to pipe it soon hopefully and okay stay tuned I took my glove off for this section, even though I'm not supposed to, but it's just, I, I'm just not very good with piping and with the glove on, it's just extra hard. So don't do what I do. Everybody else out there, keep your glove on. I am so sorry for showing you such a, uh -huh. oops, snap it. I'm so sorry for being such a bad example. myself to have a lot more soap than this so I, I kind of did grab like the bigger size piping bed so let's see Actually, a really good piping consistency. Um, the gold didn't come through here in the beginning. I should probably should do a uh, test pipe really quick before I go in with it. But oh well, uh, this is really good piping consistency. Only I have better piping skill to go with it. But um, oh my, this actually is really good piping consistency. I don't think I have one this good for a long while now. 
let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Oh my! This is actually really pretty. I almost hate to stop. Let's do it more. Probably messing it up right now, but It matter that much because the star is gonna push it down anyway but when you have a good piping mix right here it's like you didn't want to you didn't want to stop piping that does not mean I have any future as a bakery I mean as a baker because I'm really bad at this I'm probably messing it up and people are probably watching this right now and go what is she doing trust me I have no idea, but okay. So get down just a bit. What happened is with these piping, ooh, pretty. Um, is that um, I had to push a star on it anyway, so I don't think it really make that huge of a difference. How and you know that shape of the, the piping, I don't think it makes a huge difference. And I know I could have do better piping. Actually, no, I don't have what it takes to do better piping. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I actually have been meaning to go and take one of those like kick decorating class, just so I could do much, you know, at least do slightly better than what I'm doing here. But, um, but it's a shame that the, I, I could have do better. I guess I should have just planned it out just a little more. Take a lot of pre-planning to make this complicated batch of soap. And, and just, that's just really, I'm just not very good at pre-planning. I got this batch, this, this order had been a little bit more the stressful side. I mean, the client is wonderful. She's been, you know, really let me do whatever and kind of give me the basic you know, theme that she want and color scheme and stuff. It's just that, you know, once I have a something in a picture in my mind of how this so supposed to looks like, and I kind of talk it over with a client, and and she's like, this sounds good. Then I kind of had to deliver what I say I would. And unlike soap that I normally just make for myself, is that you know, you guys see me when I go, oops. I guess this is not going to be, you know, a pipe top because it's not working out for me. So I'm just going to do a spoon and call it a day. You know, that, that, that was a lot easier that way. But since that's not one of the options on this particular project, um, it just, it just um, make it a little bit more stressful. I guess it's really more like I, I feel like I have more pressure trying to get it done and stuff so now we're gonna come in and actually just take the star in there and in there and my problem with putting star again is oh. Just a touch. That's kind of my problem. Then you kind of 
mess up the piping just a bit because I'm trying to space out this. And I think um, soap maker actually have little dividing line here, which I really should do, but you know, I am me again. I kind of kind of took this whimsical approach to life and kind of carry through to my soap making. I'm a, I'm a Pisces. I kind of go with the flow. Like, it's gonna look fine. <laughs> I think it's gonna look fine. I hope it's gonna look fine. And I hope the client will like it. And then if she didn't like it, I'll take it back. <laughs> But like I say, the client have been very, very supportive, so not that. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Eleven. Huh. Okay. okay. One stop. Okay. Let's see how you're planning. Everything is on my end. Okay, let's just do a little bit more of this little glitter. I got a lot of glitter going on. Okay. I think this looks pretty good. Okay, there you have it. This is Foster Peppermint. Uh, it's wet and white with a touch of gold inside and with white uh, frosting top with a pretty little gold star with some glitter on top. And this is hopefully exactly how the client wanted. This actually looked pretty close to my other badge. So they sort of kind of have to match each other anyway. So this looked pretty good. Um, I wish my piping would have been a little better but um you know i have got i have come a long way <laughs> since my first piped of anything um so just it's definitely still room for improvement but um but that that piping consistency was so perfect um and i think it have a lot to do with the fragrance. Um, Snow Witch actually really is a good piping fragrance. Some fragrance are not good with piping. Some fragrance you put it into your, your mixer and it just stop reversing the process and you got this super liquid um, um, you know frosting that you could never you could wait for hours and for it to firm up and it just never happened. So but Snow Witch from every single time I pipe uh, with that particular fragrance um, I had to be I had to say I'm personally surprised every single time so I definitely highly recommend Snow Witch which is from Matte Oil by the way um, Snow Witch from Matte Oil which I don't think they sell on their website anymore they kind of subconscious it out so those of us who stuck up <laughs> right before that happened, uh, we still have our stash going on and um, there's, uh, they, they have a, co a company that um, do sell their fragrance for them in a smaller quantity. I think they switch over to the big um, big order so if you are high you know high yield sober then you definitely can go and buy one of the big one um, I could only handle 12 16 ounces at a time because um, I don't really do the exact same soap more than once within a short period of time so um, but there are other people who um, who they sub kind of like subcontract out to, to sell them in smaller bottles so feel free to go onto the website and then but this is definitely one of my favorite um, winter fragrance which is the Snow Witch and of course the red in the bottom this is the peppermint soap so it is um, peppermint um, Dr. Peppermint type from uh, Neutral and so actually the first time I use uh, Neutral's uh, fragrance I've always used them they're my custom and they're my custom absolutely gorgeous it doesn't matter what my cause I use of theirs the colors are always beautiful so um, the but the uh, the fragrance actually is um, very holding up really well 
So I was quite personally surprised. I mean, I should have not surprising that they have good products. So um, I definitely gonna go back and buy a lot more of their other other fragrances, of course. But until next time, this is the latest and greatest uh, pepper, frosted peppermint, and um, will not be seen in my SD store because this is shifting to a customer every single bar <laughs> but um, I'll try to do something uh, similar for my shop in, in the upcoming weeks for sure but this is definitely um, a little bit of a challenge but it's a, it's a fun challenge and and it's good that I was able to um, stick to a plan for a change and come up and make a batch of soap that actually match what I have in my mind so this is this is fun so, and uh, stay tuned for the cutting videos, and until next time, happy soaping!